women from different parts of the world um, come together. They have um, been through different experiences. Uh, they have been through very challenging life, but uh, we don't know about each other's problems and, uh, and about ways to come forward. So it's very important that we come together and we share the common problem and the common solution. As a woman politician um, uh, um, and as a woman activist, when you get stronger, you face um, bigger challenges because uh, the world always wants to see women weaker and women passive. So if you become active and stronger, then you face challenges. There are challenges from extremism and conservatives, uh, conservatives. there are security challenges. Um, and if you talk about women's rights, it's very easy to be labeled, different labels, including your outlook. So those are, I think, the common challenges, but specifically coming from Afghanistan, I think you have more challenges of conservative conservative groups and, and radical groups as a woman right activist. It's very difficult and tough. Um, being a member of parliament and a politician in Afghanistan is not an easy job to do. It's very tough, but in the meantime, when you bring some changes in some woman's life, that's the, that's the time you think that you should go on. Or, or when you think that you can contribute to any change in your society for positive change, that's something that keeps you going on. So there are days that when I go home, I think it should be my last day in politics. It doesn't worth um, all the sacrifices. But when I woke up the next day and the first telephone call I receive from people who need my help and they ask for, for a favor for something to do for them, that's something that keeps, keeps going. So the demand for what you do is, I think, the strength um, for an individual. We all can contribute to a positive change in whatever area of work we do. Um, if we're a politician or an artist or a journalist or a lawyer, whoever we are, we have to make our environment woman friendly. And we have to make sure that women are not being discriminated for their gender. We have to make sure that every human being in our area is respected regardless of their gender and their religious belief. I think we have to bring, come together and we have to support each other. Yes, there are cases that women traditionally have not been leaders, so if they become stronger, they feel opposition and they feel opponents from their same gender from the other woman. Uh, but that is because of the, the, the cultural thing, you know. Uh, our mindset has been set in a way that always the man will be in the bigger position and the man will be the leaders. Sometimes we do feel that uh, constraints, but I think we have to keep out of our small boxes, which we're happy with our computer and office and luxury life, but we have to look at the bigger world.